the Science Lab. Well, the Science Lab presents a different challenge vocally for the teacher's voice. Obviously, the voice doesn't have to fill a massive area. Acoustically, it's quite complementary. But there are other problems. Now, obviously, students are more likely to be working in groups, talking amongst themselves, experimenting, performing the task. So automatically, they may not be tuned in to your voice. It's so important, then, that when you are speaking, you make sure that students are looking directly at you. And when you're addressing the students, you're looking at them, not...